What time is it? That's right. It's time to get forever fit. Today we're going to do another of our short circuit workouts a little bit later. We go through several exercises and repeat them. So we'll warm up first before we do that. We'll do a little bit of balance as well. So we'll get started by marching on the right, on the right, on the right. We'll begin to lift our knees and twist our opposite elbows across to our knees, working our core in five, six, seven, eight, step, knee. We'll twist over, work that core, work those obliques. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we'll open up our hips, lift your knee out to the side, bring your elbow down to your thigh, bring your thigh up to your elbow, really try to open those hips. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's do some hamstring curls. Step and curl. Try to kick your back side. We're going to chop our arms and squeeze our shoulder blades together. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's double up the curl right over here. Double curl. And double curl. And double. One more time for double. Back to single curl, four, three, two, and double for two, and one. Now single, single, double, single, single, double, again, single, single, double, tap it out wide, four, three, two, and let's march it right again, right, step, touch, touch, touch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, double this up. Take it two times over. Take it two times back. Double step touch. It's like step touch, but it's double. Four, three, two, one. Make it single again for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, double for four. Three, two, single for four. Three, two, double for two. And one, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double. Keep it going. Make a little change. We're going to scoop and scoop and push and push and scoop. It's still single, single, double. It's just our singles a scoop. Our doubles a push. Scoop, scoop, push. Two more. Scoop, scoop, push, push. One more time. March it out. On the right. Half time, double step touch. Half time. So that we can learn to step behind and step together for grapevine. Regular time, step behind, step together. Grapevine step. Step behind, step together. First change. Step behind, step curl. Step behind, step and curl. Step behind, step and curl. Two more. Next change. Curl for three, two, one. Grapevine. Curl for three, two. This is eight counts. Three. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Single step touch. Slow this down. Half time. Step together. And make it step knee we'll cross our opposite hand over and touch that knee and balance for a second let's go for four three two one shake it out maybe grab a chair if you want to or 
maybe a stick or a golf club or a cane or a broom handle or a curtain rod or a shower rod, something of that nature for balance. If you're using a chair, you can grab onto the chair and hang onto it if you need to. You can keep your hands close by to grab if you want to. We're just going to take a wide stance and tip side to side, shifting our weight and balancing for a moment. Look at your own pace here. Try to shift and balance. This is a dynamic balance exercise. Just shift and balance for a few seconds, a couple seconds. Relax. All right, let's take our chair, stick, golf club, root handle in our left hand and ground the right foot and raise the left leg and raise the right arm. And we're going to swing back and forth. Swing the arm and leg. So the opposite arm and legs move together. For 12, 11, option to add the opposite arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now plant that left foot. Grab your chair if you need to. Your right foot can tap forward and back like you're on train tracks, or can tap in front and behind like you're on a tightrope. Your choice. Tap up and back. Let's go. Tap it forward and back, or in front and behind. Either way, stand up nice and tall. 12, 11, 10, 9. It helps to focus on a stationary spot while we balance. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Let's bring our chair, stick, golf club, broom handle, shower rod in front of us. You can hold with your right hand. We're going to ground the left foot. We're going to raise the right leg to the side. Raise the left arm to the side. We're going to brush the thigh, sweeping the leg across the body. So brush it, sweep it, spine stacked, keep it going. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Home oh, stretch, last four, three, two, and one. Got your breath. Stay here. Now grab with your right hand. Right? I was here, right? Right. Now ground, ground with your, excuse me, grab with your left hand, ground your right foot. Raise your left leg and your right arm. Make sure it's opposite. And swing it. Cross it over. I hope I switch sides. I mirror so much I forget what I've done. 12. You switch sides if you didn't. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two and one. Let's plant. Let's move the chair over to our right side now. Hold with the right hand. We'll plant the left foot, raise the right leg and the left arm, and we'll swing back and forth. Option to bring your right hand to your hip or swing it as well. Twelve. Eleven. 7, 6, 5, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ground that right foot. Left foot taps forward and back like train tracks, or taps in front and behind like a tightrope. Your choice will start in 
five, six, seven, eight. Tap it. Up and back, four, in front and behind. Keep it going. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Let's shake it out. Moving into our strength now, our short circuit. I'm going to use two weights here. If you don't have weights, you can use cans of food. If you don't have cans of food, you can use body weight. We're going to do nine exercises today, 12 reps each. I'm going to go through, do a set, quick rest, next set, move right on through all the exercises for the full body, and we're going to repeat everything again, making it a circuit. I'm going to show you the exercises first, so we can move through them quickly as we go along. The first exercise will be a lunge back. So we're going to pick one foot, and then step back with the other foot and repeat 12 times. If you're not good with lunges, another option be to stand behind your chair with a split squat and just bend and extend. This is your option if you don't want to step back each time. A little less impact with this variation. So you're either here or you're here. Okay? Then we're going to switch legs and do the same thing for the second set. Third set will be our flies, which we can do on our chair or on the floor. You can lie back sliding hips forward. So we're at about a 45 degree angle and an incline here. And we'll lift and lower and we'll fly. And then we're going to do rows, which we could do seated or standing. We're going to do reciprocating rows today. So one arm is up, one arm is down, and then we switch them. So both arms move each time, reciprocating rows. Then we'll do Reciprocating side raises, same idea, shoulders packed. Each arm moves, but we keep our spine stable and our shoulders packed. If you have weights that are too heavy to do side raises, you can do reciprocating overhead press, excuse me, this way. Both arms move. When I say reciprocating, it's not just alternating, it's both arms move each time you move. One goes up, one goes down. Then we'll do our back of our shoulders with posterior press and then Shallow squat, pressing back, making sure our knuckles don't swing too far forward like that. We just press and lower to our knuckles point straight down for our posterior press for the backs of our shoulders. Then we're going to do hammer curls. The so first round, we're going to do supinated curls with palms forward. Second round, we're going to do hammer curls with palms facing into the biceps. Triceps, we've done before. Leaning forward or seated, holding forward, extending back. Then we'll finish with our twist. On the chair or on the floor, we'll balance. We can lift our heels or lift our feet off the floor completely. We can rotate side to side, or we can just move our weights from side to side and stabilize as we go. Those are our exercises. So again, we're going to go through all of them, 12 reps, quick breath, we'll be through, look at the whole cycle, then repeat it. Take a little bit longer breath to repeat. I'm going to do the split squat variation the first time through, and I'll do the regular lunge back variation the second time through. So for split squat, I might have a weight in one hand. Let's have my, let's say I'm going to have my left hand on the chair, my right foot forward. If you're doing lunges, you step back, you can hold both weights, you can step back with your left foot. If you want split squat, step back now and get ready. Lunge or squat. Down and up, inhale, exhale, bend, extend for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs, left foot forward, ground the left foot, lunge back on the right or step back with the right now, and then we'll squat. Down and up, lower and lift, inhale, exhale, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Flies are next. You can sit on your chair, you can lie on your back on the floor if you like. If you're on your chair, slide your hips forward, lean back at a 45 degree incline. Weights are up, palms are facing in, shoulders are back. We're going to fly. We'll lower. We'll lift. Inhale out. Exhale in. For 10. And lift. 9. Inhale out. Exhale back up. 8, 2, 3, 4. Lift. 7. Inhale down. Exhale coming back up. 6. Five, fly, four, lift, three more, and up, two, and one, catch your breath. Rows are next. You can sit in your chair and fold forward, or you can stand kind of a deep squat and hinge your hips forward, holding your chest. Now bring one arm up and get ready to row. Switching side to side. Lift and lower, lower and lift. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Stand or sit up, overhead press or sideways. Be very careful here to pack your shoulders, keep your shoulders stable. Let's bring one arm up and get ready to switch it side to side. Stabilize your core, reciprocating side raise. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Now we're all going to have to stand, take a shallow squat, and turn our palms back and pack our shoulders and press it back. The weight should not swing too far forward here. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Now seated or standing for supinated arm curls. Palms are forward, shoulders are packed. Five, six, seven, eight. Curling. Lifting. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. For eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, last one. Triceps, same starting position as with our rows, either seated or standing. But this time we tuck our elbows into our sides. Keep your upper arms pinned to your sides. We're going to straighten our arms back in five, six, seven, eight, extend. Again, the weight shouldn't swing too far forward. Just come forward till your knuckles are pointing down. And give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last exercise is our twist. You can sit on the floor or on your chair. You can hold one weight or both weights. Balance on your sit bones, brace your core. You can lift your heels with your toes down. You can lift your whole foot up. Turning side to side, to the right, to the left, twisting, turning, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's one time through the circuit. We're going to repeat the whole circuit, but grab a quick drink if you want to. 
I'm going to do the lunge back for the second time through. So lunges back where your split squat is still an option. Let's ground the right foot forward, left foot goes back in five, six, seven, eight. Lunge and lift. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. For eight, seven, six, five, and lift. Four more. Three, two, and one. Round your left foot. Catch your breath. We'll step back with the right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Lunge, lift, down, up. Inhale, exhale, bend, extend. Eight, seven, six, five, lift, four, three, two, one. You should feel it in your quads quite a bit. Chest fly on the floor or on your chair, leaning back or lying back. Weights up, palms in. Five, six, seven, eight. Lower. Lift. Inhale. Exhale. For ten. And fly. Nine, two, three, four. Lift. Two, three, four, eight. Inhale. Exhale up. Seven, two, three, four. And lift it back to center. Six. Fly. Five, lift, four more, three, two, one, rest, rows are next, reciprocating rows, sitting or standing, picking a squat if we're standing, Holding our chest and our belly onto our thighs as much as possible, and one weight up, and then we'll switch. We'll row, squeezing back our shoulder blades. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Sit up or stand up for reciprocating side raise or reciprocating overhead press. Choose your option and get ready to press. Keep those shoulders packed, keep your core stable. We're not leaning, we're just pressing overhead or lifting to the side. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, rest. Catch your breath. We all have to stand now for posterior press. Take a shallow squat, lift your sternum, pack your shoulders, turn your palms back, pressing back. Five, six, seven, eight, press it. Stop when your knuckles are pointing straight down. The weight should not swing forward. We don't want to use momentum here. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Do hammer curls this time. Palms facing in. You can sit or stand. Knees are soft. Shoulders are packed. Curling up. Lift it. Right up to your shoulder. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Eight. Seven, six, five, curl for four, three. Oh, I forgot to reciprocate. My bad, that's okay. Why didn't do it before anyway? Never mind. Sometime we'll reciprocate on those. Triceps. Standing in a deep squat, folding forward or seated, pinning your elbows to your sides, straightening your arms back like this. Extend. The more you straighten, the more you feel those triceps engage in the backs of your upper arms. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finally, our twist again on the floor or on the chair. You can lift your heels or lift your feet, raise your core and turn and turn, rotating around your spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath. Put the weights down. Let's all have a seat to do some stretches. Stretch our legs first. Let's turn to the corner of the chair. Let's turn to the right front corner of the chair. Bring the right foot around so the toes point out to the right side. Slide your left foot back. Lift your chest, get a stretch in your quads and hip flexors here. And this left leg. Breathe, lift, and stretch. Let's come back to center. Let's turn to straddle the front left corner of our chair. Point the left foot out to the side. Slide the right foot back. Lift the chest, feel the stretch. The right leg, quads hip flexors. Relax. Let's extend the right leg forward. You might want to slide to the edge of your chair. Turn to face your foot. Inhale your spine nice and tall. Exhale, folding at your hip crease, pressing your chest towards your thigh. Now, please don't put your hand and push your leg with your hand. Keep your hands on your hips or your other thigh. We don't want to lock out this knee. Inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, folding deeper. Hamstring stretch. We'll rise back up. Bring the right foot and extend the left leg out. Turn to face that left foot. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, fold with the hip crease. Pressing your chest towards your thigh. Hamstring stretch. Breathe and sink. We'll rise back up. Bring that left foot in. Let's cross the right ankle over the left knee now. Inhale tall. Exhale, press your chest towards your shin. It's a nice hip opening stretch here. Breathe and sink. Let your body tell you how far and how fast to fall forward. We'll rise back up. Bring the right foot down. We'll cross the left leg over. Inhale tall. Exhale, pressing forward. Breathe and sink. Let's rise back up. Let's reach behind us. Let's grab onto the chair. Press the chest forward. Get a nice front body stretch here, holding onto the chair. If you don't have a chair to hold on to, open your arms and pulse. Open that front body. Shake it out. Interlace our fingers. We'll turn our palms out. We'll press out. We'll slide our shoulder blades apart. We'll stretch the upper back. And from here, we'll shrug up, pull our shoulder blades back and down. And raise our arms overhead, but sway to the right. Feel the stretch in the left side body. Try to use your breath to expand the left side of your body. We'll rise back up. Inhale tall, exhale, sway to the left, opening the right side body this time. Come back to center. Let's open our arms. Let's turn our thumbs under and press back. Stretch our biceps. Shake it out. Give me a big shoulder roll. Let's sweep the right arm up, pat ourselves on the back. With the left hand, we're going to grab that right elbow and push or pull it back. We're trying to lengthen up through our spine. So we're sitting up nice and tall, pressing the crown of our head toward the ceiling, pulling back and up on that right elbow so you feel a stretch here. 
in your triceps. Now staying with the right arm, bring the right hand across the left shoulder, with the left hand pull across for posterior deltoid stretch. We'll release that. Roll the shoulders back again. This time we'll sweep the left arm up, pat the back with the right hand, Grab that left elbow, push or pull back, but sit up tall. Lengthen your spine, feel the stretch in your triceps. Now staying with the left arm, bring the left hand across the right shoulder with the right hand, pull over, posterior deltoid stretch. We're going to stand now, and if you have a towel, go ahead and grab it, gather it up. We're going to hold it behind the back. If you don't have a towel, just interlace your fingers. Roll the shoulders back, slide the shoulder blades down, push the knuckles toward the floor, lift the chest up, stretching deltoids. Nice shoulder stretch. And we'll release that stretch. And we'll finish with two or three deep breaths. Let's take a little bit wider than hip width stance. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press and pull those shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. And inhale. And exhale. And we'll see you next time when once again we will get forever fit.